I'm so sad. What's up guys, it's Coco and today we are gonna be having Cajun fettuccine and some onion rings and some popovers. <laughs> guys i'm excited i'm hungry i have some popovers here i've never had a popover it looks really good it's just it looks like a like a monkey bread or just a bread really light there's a sauce here i'm not sure what kind of sauce this is and onion rings they're really thick onion rings and cajun fettuccine i'm so hungry let's do this i think this is butter actually Ooh. popover The butter is like whip butter and it's kind of like sweet butter holy shit that's good like it's really buttery well the butter is really buttery no but the flavor of the butter is so good oh my okay fettuccine cajun fettuccine Cheers. I did not know what I want to eat today, so I just door dashed. It's snowing outside. I had a plan today of doing Jamaican food because yesterday on my community tab, you want me to do Jamaican food. But let's do this first, and then we'll do Jamaican jerk, jerk, Jamaican food when I can drive to the restaurant and pick it up because my door dash won't deliver Jamaican food to my house. Mm. so good it's cajun it's spicy it could be a little bit more creamy So that's what a so that's what a popper bread is like. It's so good. I can taste the bread. The bread is so yellow. I can taste the egg in this bread. I freaking love it. Mmm. I think this is the sauce for the onion rings. Let's try an onion ring. Look how thick this onion rings is. I think it's the same breading as their chicken tenders. It's really thick breading. I kind of don't like it. It's the same breading that they use for the chicken fingers. I wish it was like beer battered or like lighter on the breading. But everything's yummy. I want to know how to make these popovers. It's so good. It's like the perfect appetizer. Or like side.
I have a huge pimple today. You know when you have like a pimple that it doesn't have like a middle thing. So you can't pop it. And it's like huge. And you can just tell that it's inside. <gasps> I don't know what to do about it. It's right here. Oh, don't even look. Don't look at it. But it's right here. <sighs> and it's kind of like owie when I touch it. I hate that. Also, I hate that. It's because, oh, people are going to stare at your pimple. And it's the kind of pimple that you know that will stay there for like a week. Ew. I wish this fettuccine was creamy. It's Cajun-y, but it's not creamy. I guess it's Cajun fettuccine, not like Alfredo. I should have gotten Alfredo. Oops. Again, I feel bad for the um, DoorDash driver because it's like snowing outside. And they like go in and out of the restaurants and like deliver the food. Still, even though they're in the car all the time, it's like tiring to go in and out of the car. Like in the restaurant and then the house. And you try to find the house or the restaurant. That's so sad. I don't even want to go to the restaurant and pick up my own food. How about them picking up the food for others? Oh, that's so sad. I'm so sad. Ew, this is the biggest onion ring ever. This is weird. I have like onion rings from Arby's or Culver's popover popover is kind of getting cold probably need to heat this up I need to go back to my diet I've been eating so bad lately Especially this weekend. It's my homeboy's birthday and we drank from Friday to Sunday. And I eat so shitty when I drink. It's because I can't control myself around food when I'm drinking. Like, I'm just always hungry when I drink. Like, the more I drink, the more I get hungry. And the more I drink, the more I don't get full because I don't feel anything in my stomach. Like, my stomach is numb from the alcohol, so it's like, I always eat more. Today's Monday. Let's go back to the grind. Let's go back to the flow. I want to do a live stream later after work. Mukbang, go to work, and then live stream tonight. 9 p.m. I'm going to try to edit this and upload it right away. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Come on, Buka. You see, sometimes what happens to me is I have a list of my mukbangs and I know what I'm going to do today. It's Jamaican food. But the Jamaican restaurant close to my house is like four miles away. So like the DoorDash, no DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, Grubhub. Believe me, I have all of those apps and nobody delivers Jamaican food. And it's snowing, so I don't want to like... I don't want to drive and pick up the food. I don't even want to drive if it's not snowing. And it's snowing, so... I don't want to drive. So what I do is I just, like, browse on DoorDash, Grubhub, what, what I can order. So this is just what I can do today. Cajun fettuccine, onion rings, and popovers. Oh my god, my first time having popovers? Amazing. I love this. This is, like, the perfect snack when you're not on a diet. Mmm. Mm. This is bad. And there's so much. Like, look at this onion ring. It's like so sloppy. It's not even circle. I don't like the breading. Nope. You know what I really want to eat again? KFC's waffle and fries, the Nashville hot. Which I ate yesterday. But it's so good. I want to eat it again. It's like Nashville hot and it's like spicy. And then the waffles are just like on point. Mmm. Best thing so far, the popovers. Mmm. Mm. I really don't have any story time for you guys, but sorry. Oh, ew. When I bite into it, I feel like it's all breading. There's hardly even onions in there. Like, the onions are so thin inside. Like, you don't feel the onions because the breading is so thick. Ew! Worst onion rings ever. That's the most lamest onion rings I've ever had in my life. Ever. Tonight, I'm going to be live. If you live in Minnesota, the time is 9 p.m., but if you don't, I don't know what time it is on your clock, country, or state, but just Google it. Just Google it. Mm. I should have just order chicken tenders. These are so bad. Look at the breading. It's no, this is not onion rings. Look at it. 
It was the most sloppiest made onion rings in my entire life. Mm -mm. No. So nasty. Oh, and by the way, Juicy Brill just died. Oh. What are your thoughts about Juice World? Did I just say Juicy World? Sorry, it's Juice World. And he just turned 21. How come such a talented person that's just upcoming rising, he's on this climax of his career and he just died? I'm so sad about that. Like, that's how you know it can happen to anybody at any time and any second. I hate news like that is because it gives me so much anxiety. I tell you this every day, like, when I see, like, deaths, and I read about deaths, and I can't, like, avoid them. I'm always on Facebook. I'm always on my Yahoo mail. Like, I see those things, and everybody's just dying. So, yeah, that's just so sad. And I was with my friends yesterday, and I was like, he died. He had a seizure. Did you guys know how he died? Because, you know, TMZ won't say. I think they know, but... I think they're just trying to kind of sugarcoat it, but I think it's like a lot of drugs. My friends and I are so sure, but I'm not, but they're so sure that it's about drugs. It's because his music is about drugs. Like, because I get it. Some people get creative, like. A lot of people get really, really, like, confident, like, they have more, like, a sense of creativeness, and they can just, like, feel like they're insatiable, and they can, they can think more, they can think clearly, they can think, like, out of this world, out of the box, when they're drinking, or, like, they're high, or they're on drugs, and sometimes they get used to that feeling, and they feel like, they need that to function and especially like rappers and artists um you know people like that they've already accomplished so much that they feel like it's the only way to like get more um accomplishment i mean i'm not saying everybody but I know some artists that, um, you know, really does a lot of drugs and stuff to smoke or to function or like to make them feel like the best. Like they can't, what do you, what am I saying? Like they prefer to feel this way because they feel like they can accomplish so much better things and they can, they feel like. It's the best way to feel other than being sober, like not feeling anything. And they're just so used to that that they can't. They can't go back to the normal, their normal self. Which is sad. Because that shit slowly kills you. Like taking... Taking it regularly. Taking it regularly means... It won't affect you as much. That means you're gonna... Up your dose. That means... You're gonna up your dose on a daily. Mm-mm. It's so tragic. So you guys, what you need to do is don't start doing it. Don't start taking drugs. And I know there's a lot of people there who's going to be all like, 
I really just want to see how it feels like. I'm so curious. Go ahead, try it. Make sure you trust the person that you got it from. But I'm not, I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying, try it for your curiosity. But after you tried it, after you've tried and felt the feeling of it, don't try it anymore. Like I know maybe it feels good, whatever. But it's bad. It's bad for your health. It's gonna kill you. It's expensive. It's just gonna ruin your life. So don't do drugs. All right, guys, I am tapping out. I finished my pasta. Popovers are done. This is fucking disgusting, and I am throwing that away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.